Welcome to today's training. We're journaling your way to better life and business is the theme. We're going to explore how such a simple practice that we've known about since childhood can help us create the life we've dreamed about, grow our business, and in the process, increase our income, all from the safety of our home. And did you keep a diary as a kid? I did. I started writing all the time once I had mastered that skill right out of, I think, first and second grade. And it was all the rage writing down your secret crushes and to document what you did every day during summer vacation. Your first kisses, first parties, and best vacation memories were kept under lock and key so you could explore your innermost feelings without fear of being found out. And it's no different for adults today as we journal with the same expectations to share our secrets within a safe place, to work out problems away from prying eyes, to explore our deepest desires in privacy before telling our significant other. Journaling, however, is about so much more than document our first kiss. The benefits certainly outweigh the excuses for not doing it. By journaling every day, you can relieve stress, improve your mood, become a better leader, learn more about yourself and boost your creativity. And these benefits are just the tip of the iceberg. It's likely that you may experience a different benefit and that's wonderful. Journaling is an extremely private and unique experience, which will be different from that of your friends, family, or business associates. In this video, I will talk about the four main topics that most people journal about. I'll share how journaling can help us manifest what we want in life. Instead of us settling for something less, we'll also cover how journaling can help you reach your goals, even if they seem out of this world. All right, let's get going, right? Journaling has been a popular technique amongst therapists and new age gurus for many, many years. The idea is that diving into your feelings allows you to discover underlying issues and help you to resolve them. Some self-care experts even theorize that writing your deepest thoughts or fears and then burning those pages allows you to give those fears to the universe so they don't weigh you down any longer. Even in my own training and experience, I've explored and analyzed my thoughts and behavior through writing it all out. And if you kept a diary as a kid, you're pretty much a step ahead of the game. Kids are free to dream big in their diaries, as well as track what they did each day as a remembrance. Journaling helps older teens decide which college is best for them or the pros and cons to choose a trade career. But for some reason, many adults think it's frivolous to dream big. So they just kind of settle instead of pursuing their dreams. Why is that true? Why do we settle for less when we are capable of achieving so much more? And while we may not call them diaries anymore, Many entrepreneurs, solo entrepreneurs, and high-level executives incorporate journaling into their everyday routine. Have you ever wondered how some entrepreneurs seem to be constantly up-leveling and growing their business, bank accounts, and the way they show up in the world? Journaling is the secret. Most successful entrepreneurs keep a daily journal or even several daily journals to help them reach their goals and manifest what they want. Manifesting isn't just for those who follow the law of attraction. The term manifesting simply means recognizing the next step you need to take to reach your goal. When you break down your goals into smaller milestones and you have a firm grasp on what you need to accomplish to meet your goal, then you'll notice all kinds of opportunities arise. That's an example of manifesting. Which opportunity you choose will determine how quickly you reach your goal. Journaling about your dreams and desires will assist you in recognizing what you're working toward. When it comes to manifesting anything in our lives, the more specific we can be, the better. Just as it's important to be detailed about our ideal client, the same is true about what you want to manifest in your life. For instance, when you write out the demographic of your ideal client, you're more likely to take notice of people who fit those demographics when you attend conferences and networking events, all because you took the time to write down those specifics. We often hear about journaling as part of self-care, where you write down your feelings. While it's certainly helpful in that respect, many entrepreneurs use daily journaling 
and specific prompts to manifest and improve almost every area of their lives, from lifestyle to money to business as a whole, and even to create their next level selves. If you want to experiment with adding journaling into your life, start slow and choose just one area of your life that you like to improve. And since we're talking about business today, I encourage you to choose a business goal, but just know you can expand journaling into your personal life where you can focus on relationships, spirituality, health and fitness and so forth. So don't worry, journaling doesn't need to be more than five to 10 minutes a day for it to work and become a habit. Spend those few minutes with your morning coffee and you'll surprise yourself at how focused you are the rest of the day. Of course, journaling is easy enough to work into any time of day. Daydream at lunchtime or reflect on the good parts of your day in the evening. Another plus is to not have to worry about proper grammar or spelling in your journal. I do recommend that you write legibly for when you go back to review your notes about your next big program. If you can't read your writing, chances are nobody else can either and your million dollar idea might be lost forever. But everything else is casual. The journal is for your eyes only and it's important to get the words out of your head onto paper than for it to look grammatically perfect. If you haven't caught on yet, I'm talking about old school journaling as in use pen and paper. I know there are journaling apps and you could probably get your thoughts done pretty quickly on your laptop, but experts agree that handwriting in a journal is a better choice. With so many people dependent upon their technology, so few people actually write anymore. So picking up that pen is different and allows you to focus differently on what you're writing on paper. Many experts believe that handwriting, especially in the morning, serves up a warm exercise for your brain. Instead of depending on that coffee to wake you up, couple that with journaling for extra inspiration and focus. Experts also agree that bonus side effect of daily journaling is that you're strengthening your writing muscle and become a better writer without much effort. And this is great news for online business owners whose livelihoods depend on producing a constant stream of content for their audience. Even those who do not feel like writing is their strong suit, notice that developing new programs or writing a blog post becomes easier because they become used to writing in their journal. Also, Keep in mind, you don't need to spend a bunch of money on fancy journals unless you want to. A simple notebook is a great way to start off. You can even find some journals that have daily space for you to work your thoughts as well as your health stats and personal times. Journal designs are abundant, but find the one that you'll most likely use. No matter how fancy the tool, if you don't like it or won't use it consistently, it's pretty much a waste. So start small and then upgrade later. To get started with journaling, ask yourself why. Is there a part of your life that you want to change? Do you want to seek a particular benefit such as relief stress? Do you want to simply track certain tasks or organize your thoughts? When you're clear about why you're starting this habit, you'll be less likely to push it off as something to do later. Another frequently asked question is why journal every day? Some people hesitate to ask because they're afraid you're going to be committed for a, like a 60 minute workout. Well, no, it's simply five to 10 minutes time frame, And I'm pretty sure you can find that in your day, right? Daily journaling has many benefits such as stress relief, reduced feeling of overwhelm, increased focus on work, more creativity, empowerment, ability to let go of the past, and staying more motivated or inspired. Of course, you won't experience each of these benefits every single day. Whatever you focus on in your journal will bring up different feelings to be addressed. Just take comfort in knowing that no matter your topic, you will address it in, with your most inner feelings and feel some sort of positive outcome. There's pretty much only one wrong way to journal and it's not doing it at all. Basically, anything goes and no one will judge you about what you write or how you do it. It is a very personal tool, so make it work for you. Use your journal to write down your feelings, capture ideas, or to manifest what you want. When journaling about what you want, be specific. If you want more clients but offer an array of services, 
write down how many clients you want for each service. Instead of saying you want more freedom, write down how many hours a week you'd like to work or what you like to do with your new freedom. If you desire a vague, then your opportunities will be vague and difficult to recognize. Journals are a great way to break down and prioritize your to-do list. Write down your top three priority tasks in your journal and then make them happen. If you're procrastinating about something big, write about that in your journal and identify the worst thing that could happen if you don't complete this task. Also, write about the best outcome for finishing the task. You may find that the worst outcome really isn't that bad and there's something else holding you back from completing it. Allow yourself to dream big inside those journal pages, but don't let those dreams linger. Take those huge dreams and drill them down into smaller doable actions. Create an outline in your journal of your action steps and how you feel about them. Explore if there are ways to delegate some of those work. Are there ways to automate some of the tasks so you can complete these steps faster? Don't edit yourself. Take this information and transfer it into a mind mapping program or a platform like Trello so you can get organized and create a plan of attack. As you progress down your list, go back to your journal and write about your sense of accomplishment or any other feelings that arise. Another way to use journaling for your business is to brainstorm article titles or program ideas for your audience. Maybe you're reflecting on a video you did and some audience questions spurred a new idea. Or maybe one of your one-on-one -on -one clients mentioned something that you would like to develop for your clients. Inspiration appears at the strangest times and in the weirdest places, so explore those types of ideas. And it's also quite possible that once you get into the journaling habit, you'll just feel more creative during your day. New ideas may pop up during lunch meeting with your best friend or while you're driving to the grocery store. Sometimes our creativity kicks in when you're taking yourself out of the office and relax a little bit. Get in the habit of carrying a notebook with you or use your memo app on your phone for these quick moments when you don't want to forget this value with nuggets of information. And I mean, who doesn't want to stress relief? Science has proven that journaling can relieve stress by releasing those worries onto paper. Sometimes giving a voice to those inner demons makes them feel less grim. Have you ever called your best friend to vent about something and by the end of the conversation, you feel better? The same can happen with journaling. Journaling is also a way to turn any negative self-talk into a positive talk that can give you a boost of self-esteem. Maybe some of these positive thoughts can turn into daily affirmations that you use throughout the day when those negative thoughts creep their way back in. If a client leaves you, for example, you may feel badly about it. Write about those feelings in your journal, but instead of condemning yourself for losing a client, write down ways you might have saved that client or other ways enhance your client experience to stay with you. And remember, we all have rough days. No one is ever 1,000% stress-free, but it's how you deal with the stress that will determine the rest of your day. You are in complete control, so if something isn't working in your business, explore ways to change it in your journal. And if you haven't noticed, I'm a big fan of handwritten journals and always have blank ones laying around. And as with anything you want to do well, you'll need certain tools to be successful. And with journaling that starts with pen and a notebook, it's not a big investment and you probably have both tools probably sitting around somewhere in your home. So take that notebook and start writing about the first thing that comes to mind. If that feels a little simplistic for you or you prefer pretty tools that make you feel special, go on Amazon for journals that show your unique style. You'll find hundreds of journals in all different sizes with different designs on the cover. You can also find different journal pages that track more than one aspect of your life, such as your business and health. Just as health experts say that tracking your food gives you the power to make better food choices, journaling about your business allows you to make better business choices. If you prefer to keep the different aspects of your life separate, then purchase a journal for each area of focus. The way your thoughts won't get intermingled or confusing. Pull out your business journal in the morning to prepare for your day and pull out your gratitude journal in the evening to give thanks for a wonderful day. The choice is yours how you want to approach journaling. 
another frequent question I hear is how to get started. What do I start writing about? And again, this is a very personal choice and I would start with whatever pops in your mind or ask yourself, what do you want to focus on or change in your life? You might decide to focus on journaling around that topic first. You'll also find many different journaling prompts online and I've included some in my newest course. I'll share more about that in just a few minutes. So stick around until the end of this training. As you get used to this new habit, you'll find that you don't need prompts to get started. You'll be much more in tune with your desire and goals and John will become second nature to you. So to get started, sit back for a moment and reflect on which format suits you best, a handwritten journal or a digital journal? Which one do you see yourself using? Do you do everything on your phone? Would you like a break from technology during your journaling time? There's no right or wrong answer. The most important thing is choosing the tool you most likely use and stick with it. Here are some pros for using a handwritten journal. You won't have any distractions while you write, such as social media notifications or a temptation to check your email. Keep your phone charging or in another room while you journal to eliminate all temptations. Studies show that handwriting in a journal can improve your memory make the information stick better. Handwriting allows your brain to slow down enough to hold onto a thought until you get it onto paper. Even though handwriting moves slowly than typing, you're creating different brain synapses with this process, which can improve creative thinking. A gorgeous journal might make you more likely to want to write in it. You won't forget about it if it's in a prominent place in your office or if it has a beautiful cover and colors that speak to you. You'll also want to choose writing utensils that work for you. Choose your favorite pen style or choose fancy pen that coordinates with the journal colors. You can tote paper journals with you most places with ease for the instance when creativity strikes. So keep it in your purse, your laptop bag, or even in your car. Even though handwriting is my preference, I know everybody is different and has different needs. Digital journaling is certainly an option if you just don't envision yourself using a paper journal. And there are some pros for digital journals. You can access it anytime, anywhere from your phone, tablet, laptop. It's easier to update, edit, move things around, or search for certain topics in a digital format. Privacy is easier to guarantee if you have password perfected file. If you save your entries to a cloud-based platform, then durability and safety far away that of paper journals. Would you think to grab your journal if faced with a natural disaster or emergency? Many tools are available, including the notes on your phone, 750words.com, Google Docs, and more apps. You'll have an easier time reading your entries, especially if your handwriting tends to be messy. Using multimedia options can make journaling more fun. Make videos of yourself or insert photos into your journal with a few clicks of your mouse. If you type faster than you write, then use digital journal to increase your journaling productivity. One way to combine the benefits of a handwritten journal with the privacy of a digital journal is to use tech tools such as Rocketbook or an iPad Pro with an Apple Pencil. Rocketbooks come with their own specific pencil stylus, but the idea is the same. Handwrite your journal entries on the screen and then save it to the cloud. You can search for those files for a specific topic or you can reorganize the entries so they're in chronological order. This process also takes away the need for multiple journals for different topics because you can label each entry as business, health, lifestyles, etc., and then group those entries together under the appropriate labels. Remember, the choices are not written in stone. If you start off with digital journal but find you're not using it, switch to paper or vice versa. Journaling is supposed to relieve stress, not add to it. One of the best things is that you can journal about absolutely any topic you want. However, if you want to uplevel your business and become a better business owner, there are four specific topics you should focus on. You can focus on them all together in one journal, or you can write about these topics in separate journals. But acknowledging where you can improve yourself is the first step to a better life. With the lifestyle topic, you'll want to focus on what you want out of life. Where do you want to live? What type of home do you want? What do you want to do in your free time? Where is your office? How many hours do you work each day or a week? Think about your current lifestyle. Are you living in your dream location or are you living there because of your family or job? Are you working a job you love or are you doing it because it's what you know and provides a decent salary? 
Now, dream big when dreaming of your ultimate lifestyle. Don't let your rational thought come into this thought process. Just let your dream flow from your brain into your jaw. So often we discover that it's not material things that make us happy. It's the relationships we have and our way of living that makes us joyous. There's a meme that has made its round on social media which says, why live for a vacation? Find a way to make every day a vacation. That's a paraphrase, but you get the idea. The same could be said about living for the weekend. If you're living your best life doing the work that makes you whole, then every day will be like a vacation. And I have the saying, create the life you want so you'll never have the case of the Mondays again. Have you ever given any thought into why you're living the life you have? Journaling can help you begin living with intention to only say yes to opportunities that will bring you closer to living your dream lifestyle. Exploring what your lifestyle entails is the first step to manifesting opportunities. After you describe your dream lifestyle, start to make notes about how you can achieve these goals. Do you need to move? Do you need to make changes to your business? Are you currently making the income necessary to support this lifestyle? Do you need the help of others to make this dream come true? Do you need to convince a spouse or significant other that your lifestyle dream is realistic? Is there anything you can do today to move you forwards in your life? Review all the notes and create action steps. If setting a timeline helps you stay focused, do that with the lifestyle goals. The more action you take, the more joy you feel knowing that you're headed into the right direction. Uh, let's talk about a money journal where you can clear money fears, feel more confident about your finances, stop beating yourself up over past money mistakes, and reach your money goals faster. Do you have money goals? Do you know where your money goes every month? How about specific bills? How much do you pay for electric or car insurance? Knowing the specifics about how much you earn and how you're spending that income is the first step to taking control of your finances. It's one thing to wish for more money, but what's your reason? Do you need it for college for your kids? Or do you just want to buy more stuff? The more specific you can get in your journaling, the better. If you've racked up credit card debt in the past, are you still dwelling on that mistake? Try focusing on instead on the fact that you paid it off. Yay! Take precautions to not be in that predicament again. In fact, write down the money mistakes you've made in the past and declare in your journal that you will not fall into that trap again. Now, write down some smart money decisions you can make today and create a plan for managing your income going forward. What are your money goals? Do you want to earn a certain amount each month? Do you want to put down payment on a second home? Do you want to become a digital nomad and travel the world while running your business? Nothing is off limits, but to avoid going into severe debt with these ideas, journal about why you want to save up and write about the details of your dreams. You can also explore ways to earn more money in your business, or you can save this for your business specific journal. Also keep track of your money successes in your journal. Once they start to accumulate, you can review those milestones and feel confident that yes, you know what you're doing and you're on track to reach your goals. Write about when you have the down payment for your second home or when you pay off your car loan. Throw a party when you pay off your mortgage and when you pay that last college tuition bill. Even though bookkeeping can be pretty scary, that's the only way you'll know for sure if you're on track to meet your goals. Keeping a business journal can help you capture ideas, stay motivated and inspired, relieve overwhelm and stress, and manifest the future of your business. Just with your lifestyle journaling, dream big with your business journal. Even if something seems extraordinarily difficult, write it down and then tackle the action steps you need to take. Some of these topic themes that we're talking about today overlap a little bit. In the lifestyle journaling sections, I asked you if you were living intentionally with your choices of job and location. Now, do the same with your business journal. Is this your dream job or did you get started simply because you thought you'd enjoy it? Do you live and breathe your business or do you enjoy long breaks from it? Just as you create the lifestyle of your dreams, you can also create the business of your dreams. But knowing exactly what you want out of your business is the first step to manifesting these opportunities. So take notes about your business income, which overlaps with the money drawing that we've just talked about. Do you know your monthly expenses? Do you outsource to contractors? 
How much do you pay in taxes? These numbers are vital to determine if you're overspending or if you're making a profit. We just spoke about monthly bookkeeping and that advice applies here too. Outside of your regular monthly operating expenses, are there any business trips or extras that you anticipate? How about any live events that you want to attend? Make a list of those along with the admission fees. Do you need a hotel room, flights? Be sure to budget some money for food and entertainment. Now, put together a savings plan or simply prioritize this over other expenditure this month so that you can attend those events and reap the benefits. And again, track your business success. Write about when you sign a new client, sell copies of your latest product, or even when you earn more than the previous month or year. Do you have joint venture partnerships growing? Write about that, all the benefits of this project. Are you starting an affiliate program to sell your products? Awesome, that deserves an entry. Do you have clients and customers raving about your business? Collect testimonials and keep those files so you can boost your ego with them on difficult days. Once you get a grip on your business income, dream big about what you want your business to look like next year, five years, or even 10 years from now. It's important to write these entries in the present tense as if your business looks this way already. Present tense allows your brain to feel as if you're already accomplished these goals. It's more a proactive feeling. You're reinforcing the positive mindset that you can achieve these things as opposed to hoping and wishing for things to happen to when you use future tense. Remember to use present tense with all of your journal entries, whether it's lifestyle, money, business, or self-improvement. When you start journaling, there is becoming the next level of you happening, and it's helping you set and hit bigger and bigger goals and help you get from where you are today to where you want to be as a person. Think of this as your self-improvement topic, which so many people ignore, thinking they're too busy or they don't have time to desire to improve. Focus on you as a person and how you want to change for the better. How do you get started with this type of introspection? Well, find a quiet space without interruptions or distractions. If one of these questions I've mentioned here sparks something, then begin there. Write about the first thing that comes to mind. That's often a sign that it's taking up a lot of space in your subconscious and you need to address it. If you need help getting started, write about your biggest accomplishment to date or what makes you the person you are today. Explore your purpose in life or the top five tips you'd like to tell your younger self. This isn't a place to bash yourself. If you make past mistakes, turn those entry into a positive by writing about the lessons you've learned or how you're working to not making the same mistake again. If you're looking to improve your health and wellness, don't fall into the negative self-talk about your weight or size. Be proud of the steps you're taking to live a healthy lifestyle instead. As I've mentioned in this training already, writing negative thoughts in your journal can feel cathartic and it's a way to keep them out of your head. However, don't dwell on those negative thoughts. Turn those into positive entries will actually help you combat the negative self-talk that hides in everyone's head. When you need a dose of positive, you can pull out the journal and see all the progress you've made simply from those positive entries. As you develop this daily journaling habit, the subject matter will present itself. If you track certain goals, update about your progress. If you were inspired, write about how that felt and how that inspiration carried throughout the day. There's no wrong way to journal. Even if you're at a loss one day, write down that you don't know what to write about and see where that thought process takes you. I've mentioned quite a bit about manifesting and how journaling can help you manifest what you want in life. This isn't a magic spell and there is certainly work involved so that you can manifest what you want. The first step in manifesting is knowing what that is. The second step is outlining the steps to get you there. The third step is to observe and acknowledge certain opportunities that will lead you to your desired outcome. As you journal each day, you can read your previous posts and action steps and make changes as needed. Readjust your course or get ready to tackle today's list of actions. Soon you'll start to notice all the things you put into the world to help you reach your goal, but you have to identify what you want. And if you know anything about me, I am a big fan of refining and defining your goals. And SMART goals are part of the process. And this is all about being specific with what you want to achieve. So avoid being vague about it. It's about knowing how you'll measure your progress. It's knowing that it's attainable 
and that it's realistic in this particular time. If not, right, you have to break it down into smaller pieces that you can achieve more easily. Is your goal relevant or is it outdated? Sometimes a change happens and it's necessary. And is your goal timely or are you looking too far into the future? I'm pretty sure you want to see results from journaling. So you have to do it consistently. We're not talking about dedicating a whole lot of time to this habit. Five or 10 minutes a day is easier to fit into any schedule, even on the weekends when you have family or other social obligations. Wake up at the same time each day, even on the weekends, and soon journaling will feel like second nature. Waking up at a consistent time has been proven to enhance your sleep patterns, so it's a good habit all around. Here's some other tips for making journaling work for you. Make journaling a daily habit and pick one of the journaling topics to focus on for 21 days. This is how long readers to say it takes a habit to build, right? And you should become used to be a habit. That five to 10 minute time frame may increase because you might want to journal about more than one topic. Or maybe you have difficult situations to sort out, thus leading to a longer journaling session. The ultimate goal is to enjoy your peace and quiet and really think about your life, no matter how long you journal. Decide what you want to journal about. Sometimes you'll be at a loss, but in general, we all have things that we need to sort out. Dedicate each day to a different topic or even dedicate a week to one topic. This is especially helpful for your business journal when you have extremely busy weeks or you're launching a new product or program. Prepare your mind the night before pulling out the journal you want to use before you go to bed. Then you don't have an excuse to not journal. Decide when you will journal. Think about your day. When do you have an unlimited time to journal? When is your house quiet? Allowing you to dwell into those thoughts. You will want to journal while your coffee brews, or does it make sense to journal after the kids go to school? Experiment with journaling in the morning versus in the evening and right before bed. You may find that you sleep better after you write about the day's events, or you may realize that journaling in the morning helps you keep your mind focused on tasks. Again, choose a time of day that works for you. And if that needs to change, change it. Decide what prompt you will use. Some people can just open their journal and start writing. And one day with enough daily journaling, you may be that person. But there's no reason to ditch journaling because you're not sure what to write about. In my new class, I'll supply you with some prompts in each of the four primary topics to get you started. Or you can use the many proven and tested journal prompts that you find online. Simply write the prompt down in your journal and start exploring your feelings. In your business journal, you may not need any prompts, especially if you're actively creating new programs or planning other growth projects. Simply report on the success of each initiative and create more action steps. Stick to your plan each day. Humans are creatures of habit. We like to have routines where we know what happens next. Small children thrive on routines, and if we dare change those routines, we often end up with tantrums or altered sleep schedules. Journaling should become part of your daily routine if you want to achieve the best results. By starting off with a short time frame, journaling every day and deciding when to journal, you're setting yourself up for a good plan. And before you know it, you reach for your journal without thinking about it. That journal will go with you everywhere, ready for inspiration to strike. You think journaling is tenuity? Do a quick Google search for manifesting stories and you'll be stunned at how journaling has brought success to multitude of people from ordinary people to the super rich and if i haven't convinced you of the power of manifesting then consider your journal as a way to organize your thoughts and to map out your action steps to achieve your goals and if you're curious about journaling but still need help getting started take a look at my newest course create the life you want write your dreams into reality in just minutes a day this four lesson self-study course is designed specifically for you to embrace journaling easily and learn how to incorporate the stress reliever into your everyday life. I'll dive deeper into the topics we've covered today and I'll encourage you to embrace journaling even if you have to use baby steps to get started. I'll give you step-by-step -step guidance in each of the four lessons. You'll receive specific prompts and journaling ideas for each of the four categories. I encourage you to work on one category at a time before moving on to the next one. Or you can use several prompts from the course to create your own customized journaling routine that helps you work on the areas you specifically need to work on. In addition to the lessons, you will receive worksheets so you can explore how to make journaling work for you. 
These worksheets have lots of room for notes as well as checklists, so you are well prepared to be a successful journal keeper. Most importantly, I want you to fall in love with journaling so you can create your dream life and manifest everything that will make you happy and joyous. This training taught some quick ways to incorporate journaling into your busy life, but in these four lessons, we'll go over into much more depth. In each lesson, we'll cover the following. Identify what's important to you and learn how to love the act of journaling. Identify your old money fears, doubts, and issues. Improve your business skills and creativity while journaling to grow your business. Use introspection to identify who you want to become and at what level of success you desire. So if you're ready to learn how to grow your business, become a better version of yourself, multiply your wealth and regain control, go to therebelstand.com slash write dreams.